Okay, let's make a start. Right, so the bits you need to cut your glass uh, for your build table is obviously some glass. Um, this is a 2mm pitcher glass, um, so it's just a cheap float glass it's also called, and pitcher framing circles. So grab a piece of glass, you can get this, you can also recycle, so you can any old pictures you've got knocking around or um, the local charity shops normally have um, glass knocking around, so you'll need one of those. So you need some glass first off. Um, you'll need a glass cutter, which is this um, piece of equipment here. Um, I'll put a link uh, for eBay, you can probably pick one of these up, a half decent one of these up, for about uh, £10. Um, I mean they go from anything from £2 up to, you know, for the more expensive ones, about £50. Um, so look, if you look for a glass cutter at about £10, you'll get something half decent, that'll last you a while. Now this one that I've got here is a dry one, you get two different types, you've got a dry one and a wet one. Um, the wet one needs an oil um, to cut the glass. Um, for what it's worth, get a dry one so you've got no greasy oil um, everywhere. Um, and that's basically all that needs to be said about, about that really. Okay, so we've got a glass cutter, we've got a glass. You'll need a felt, tempt, felt pen, a sharpie or something similar, to, um, to mark your glass. You'll need a straight edge. Um, so yeah, I've got a ruler. This is actually quite nice. One is it's got a like a rubber on the inside, yeah. So when you stick on the glass, it it holds itself uh, straight. Um, but any sort of straight edge, if you can get a straight edge with a bit of a some thickness on it, um, that's better. As when you run the the cutter along it, you've got something to square to run up against. Um, so anything really straight uh, um, with a bit of thickness, you can use another piece of glass. Um, and what else do we need? Um, that's basically it. <clears throat> so what I've done first is to make things easier and because I'll be cutting glass again in the future for the bed plates. Um, I'm planning to use about five, six, I'll need six bed plates for, for, for the rack system. Uh, so we've got five um, plates ready to go in the rack and then one which will be on the top cooling. Um, so you probably have, possibly get a seven, so you'll have five in the rack, one on the top cooling. Um, yeah, so you have, um, I don't know if you can see this picture, um, I'll probably pop it up on the computer. So we've got five on the rack, one, two, three, four, five, one on the top with your pipe cooling in it, and you probably have another one inside the machine, so seven, ideally, um, if you want to go that far. Um, so, what I've done is, um, I've just measured my replicator, um, Makerbot replicator's um, build plate, um, my Makerbot X to 2x, and I've added 10 mil um, all the way around. Um, the main reason for that is I want the the, the glass to overlap the build plate, because <coughs> what I'll do later on um, is I'll put some tape, some cap time tape, or you can use um, masking tape um, just around the edge, um, just to um, help protect the the, the sharp edge. Um, I find it works really well, um, but I'll show you that later on. So once you get your pattern. Um, obviously, mark it up, keep it hanging on the wall. When you need to cut some more glass, um, you've got something there ready to go. So, so what I'm going to do is just drop my pattern on there. Pretty simple. Yeah, we can mark it up. Another good, nice thing about making a pattern is um, if you don't want to cut the glass, um, obviously just take your pattern down to your local glazier or uh, picture framer, and I'm sure you'll have some off cut for which you can cut this glass. Um, I bought this picture glass specifically for picture framing, so um, the, my local supplier, I, I worked it out last night, it's probably going to cost about, it's going to be under 50 pence per build plate um, with this with this glass, um, so it's, it's nothing really. Um, so get your um, glass cutter, okay, um, what I do is, obviously the, I don't know if you can see, I might do a zoom up on that, but obviously you got your little um, wheel on there. Um, not sure what that's probably a tungsten wheel on there, um, and there's some thickness to the um, to the cutter. So you will need to just make sure when you put your straight edge on there that you allow for that for that thickness. Um, don't know whether you can see it there. Hopefully you can see it. Let me pull that down a bit more. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so I've left a, a tad. 
a smidge in there for the cutter. So let's make sure it's all nice and square. Okay. And like I say, this, this rod is great because it's got like a rubber on the inside. Um, so it's very hard. Once you're pressing down on it, it doesn't move. If you are having problems with the um, ruler moving, your straight edge moving, just tape it down. Get some, um, if you're masking tape, just tape it. Um, just stop it from moving. Now the, the trick is with the, the glass cutter is you only want to do one score, yeah? So even if you mess it up, don't go back and forward, up and down, because that will just wreck your, um, your blade, um, your cutter. So you, what I normally do is I normally start this end, yeah? And I sort of gently just run it off so the wheel goes off the edge of the plate. I'll just show you over here, so it goes off the plate. Then I know that's where it's going to start, yeah? And then what you want to do is just do one smooth cut all the way through. So all you're going to hear is like a... Someone says it's like ripping silk. That's what it should sound like. So you, and that's all you need, just the one cut. So even if you don't make it quite to the end, just just don't worry about it, yeah? Just, just what last thing you want to do is go up and down, yeah? So just one... One, one thing. So here we go. Hopefully you'll be able to hear it. Okay, that's it. So you don't need to do any more with that. Okay, that's all you're looking for. And as you can see, yeah, you can hopefully you can see on the glass. There's just a slight scribe mark on there. And to actually break it, all you need to do is literally just hold the plate. Yeah, just take care because it is glass and it is sharp. Yeah, and then um, just pull it down. Just push the two edges up and. It'll, it'll break really, really cleanly. Um, another way of doing it, I've seen people do it, is to put uh, perhaps a pen or a mat underneath there and just hold it there and just press down the side. But I just normally just do it that way and it, it works great. So let's move that out of the way. We'll cut the other side. So same again, yeah. As you can see here, I'm just leaving a little bit of space again. So I'm not putting my rule right on my mark, so I'm leaving a bit of space to allow for the offset on the blade, because the blade, there's a bit of thickness on the blade. So I just hold it, we're good there, we're good there. Again, just roll it gently, so it's not scoring, I'm just rolling until it comes to the edge of the plate and falls off the plate. Okay, that's where it's starting. I need a nice firm stroke. It takes some practice, um, but like I said, this glass is dirt cheap and you'll have some off cuts um, at the end of it. So again, got the two pieces of glass, yeah. Um, I've never had the need to wear gloves, but I suppose you could wear gloves and safety glasses, but I've never had the need. And all you need to do is just twist it and it comes apart as easy as that. So that's basically your build plate, um, one build plate cut. So just going back to that glass, I'll just show you again how easy it is to cut glass. I mean, I actually think it's really complicated, but again, um, even that, I've missed a little bit there, but even that should work. Yeah, so um, again, it's very, very simple. Yeah, once you put your scribe in, it, it breaks off easily. Well, I've got a few splinters of um, glass on the um, on my table, so I'll just clean it up quickly. Quick and fast way of doing that. I've, I've found this is get some masking tape. The reason why I've got the splinters is that first little bit there, I, a little wiggly bit I cut um, there. I didn't actually score it all that well, so I missed a bit, and it's obviously just 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 broken um, there. So I've got this bit on the table, so I'll just stick that over there. Rub it a bit, pull it up. We can fold it over and that's safe. I've got no glass, hopefully no, no other glass on the um, table. Okay, so we've got our ball plate. That's uh, all lovely. What we need to do now is give it a quick clean. 